and welcome to Rodney Parade in Newport where the Australians for this the first uh, match of the Welsh part of their eight games tour in England and Wales have done East Wales the compliment of playing virtually a full strength test side 13 of this team played in the victory over the Metropolitan Counties in the first match of the tour. Only one has not played in an international match, and that's Tony Shaw, the number eight forward. An Australian team full of exciting runners like Russell Fairfax and uh, McLean, the wing there. The veteran Hipwell is at scrum half, and a very big, strong pack with Garrick Frey, the Frey there, the lock forward, over 17 and a half stones. The team happily led by Peter Sullivan, restored after shoulder injury and it's a wallaby side that is going to face the toughest test of their tour so far in this east wales team that carries eight capped players boasting 141 caps amongst them six british lions there some of the most famous names in welsh rugby legend at this moment john williams gerald davis on the wing the side captained by gareth edwards and this big strong tough pack with the evergreen john taylor there at flank forward having played 26 times for wales And it's Russell Fairfax who starts the game for the Wallabies, kicking straight to Terry Kopner, the East Wales flank forward. And that's the East Wales 25 as Gareth Edwards feeds out to John Williams. And the first line out of the match then to the Australians with Owen Stevens, their right wing to throw in. And there's the really big man in this Australian side, Gary Fay, six feet six. Over 17 stones. Right at the front of the line out for the Australians is Stuart Gregory, the big lock forward. Faye's at number four. <laughs> Australians making ground. They get the put in at the scrummage. And there's that big Australian boiler house. It's a, a fairly heavy Australian pack, averaging over 15 stones. Those are the very big men in the front row. Not big in height, but big broadways. Number three there, Ron Graham. Number one, Carberry, the hooker. And number four, John Howard, the most experienced of the three of them. John Hipwell to Richardson, to Jeff Shaw, the big man. It was McLean, it was to Gerald Davis. John Taylor, Taylor over his own 10 yards line. John Taylor up to halfway. But Hipwell has it to Richardson. That's the East Wales 25. Just inside the East Wales 25. Garrick Fay Palms, but it's Graham Price. Australians clearly will have to tidy up that loose ball at the line out because the East Wales forwards are getting through the gaps. This is 10 yards outside the East Wales 25. Jeff Young throws. Knocked back there by Jeff Evans. Penalty there for, I think, offside in that ruck situation. And this is Keith James, one of the six Cardiff players in this East Wales side. Well, that'll give Keith James a lot of confidence. That kick has taken his team fully 55, 60 yards upfield. Number eight coming back here is Roger Lane. Big hefty Cardiff breakaway. Then Terry Cobner of Pontypool, number six. Knocked down by Dick Cox. That's Peter Sullivan. But it's Cobner. He's almost up to the line. Oh, what a good ball. Edwards to John Taylor. And that's Hipwell clearing. Keith Hughes, Sullivan kicks on. 
Shanklin on the Australian 10 yards line. Jim Shanklin kicking into space. Back goes Jeff McLean, hounded by Gerald Davis. With a chance for a score, they're only a couple of feet short. Referee undecided, scrum five. Robinson there, Jeff Young there. Ian Robinson, the Cardiff lock forward, the last man off the ground. But the referee, firm and quick in his decision. East Wales then, five yards out. Edwards feeds Taylor. John Taylor tackled there by Jeff Richardson. Jeff Young is in there as well. Penalty, I think, for not releasing. Perhaps the referee deciding he'd been tackled. And relief for the hard-pressed Australians here. Russell Fairfax. Keith James. James to John Williams. Tony Shaw wins. John Williams was up. Again, the... East Wales side within 10 yards of the wall of his line. That's how close the Welshmen have got. Well, straight back to Jeff Richardson, but it's a penalty there for an infringement round the side. Holding someone in, I think. The man then who scored 227 points in matches last season, John Taylor. So that lovely penalty goal by John Taylor puts East Wales ahead by three points to nil with 13 minutes of the first half gone. Gareth Edwards calls for the mark. Gareth Edwards leading this East Wales side as he led Wales in Canada during the close season. And Gary Owen. Dropping on the Australian 25, Graham Price has it, feeds the other prop forward, Wallace. Lane was there as well and Robinson fed it out to Taylor. Finlayson, John Williams in the line. Jeff Shaw driving in there, Shanklin picks up. Robinson feeds Edwards. James, and it was sent in by the strange and he would have been in between the post because John Williams is away upfield. David Lestrange, who scored that wonderful try at Bath on Saturday. Just unable to control that pass, and the way was clear to the line. On halfway then. Edwards, making Fairfax go deep into his own 25. Fairfax with that pace that uh, all really good fullbacks have to have in the modern game. Pace in defence and pace to turn defence into attack. Ten yards outside the Australian 25. That's Cox. The Australian 25. Good hooking by Jeff Young. The pick up by Lane to Edwards. There's the switch to Keith James, who hadn't moved. This is Hughes. John Williams. Jim Shanklin. Lovely bit of loop running there. 
there by Keith Hughes, but Shanklin tries to feed Jeff Evans. And it was kicked on by Peter Sullivan, and a sporting touch there by number 11, Peter Sullivan, the Australian captain, who, who thought he'd caught Graham, um, who thought he'd caught Jerry Wallace with his boot, and uh, was anxious about it. Edwards, Shanklin, over the 25. Terry Cobner, first man there. Robinson there as well. And the East Wales side have once again got into the Australian 25. Still just three points in it with half time approaching. Jeff Young throws to Robinson, Edwards to James. James misses out finishing to Hughes. William misses Gerald Davis. Can anybody catch him? Gerald Davis with a score. It was the wonderful, the kind intrusion by John Williams that really did it. Beautifully swift passing, the modern move of missing out one centre. And this little man, Gerald Davis, putting the quick silver finish to it. Seven points to nil, East Wales lead. Russell Fairfax to restart. Jeff Evans. And it was Roger Lane of Cardiff who put it into touch. That's Lane, one of the Welsh trialists in this side. He's been very near to our cap for the last couple of seasons. That's the East Wales 25. Jeff Evans got the hand to it. Robinson did well to recover it. That's Robinson number four. Referee's whistle goes for half time. East Wales leading the Australians by seven points to nil. Just the one try. And in conditions which are good for good open rugby football, this big crowd at Rodney Parade hoping that the second half will produce rugby of a more spectacular kind. It's East Wales then to start the second half, leading by seven points to nil, a John Taylor penalty goal and a Gerald Davis unconverted try. And a penalty right away to the Australians on their own 25. Russell Fairfax. And a new arrival in the Australian side at half-time was number six with the sweatband there, Reg Smith, who has come on to replace the injured Tony Shaw. Reg Smith normally a lock forward, but probably going to pack at number eight. East Wales, ten yards line. Edwards to James. That's Owen Stevens going back into his own 25 so that he can kick on the full. Peter Sullivan, number 11 there, probably knowing that the 1957 Australians lost here to Newport by 11-0. Carberry, the Australian hooker, driving through, but the ball left rather loose there. It's a bit of weakness in the Australian second phase play. That was better, hit well. That was hoisted by Sullivan. Gerald Davis. Davis with those little magic touches of his. Out to Gareth Edwards, what a switch of direction, Edwards over halfway, inside to Jim Shanklin, but the touch judges flag is up. Great support there for Jim Shanklin, from three of his forwards, Terry Cobner, Jeff Evans and Roger Lane, that was great running by those forwards. Stevens throws, Faye doing well at the line out, helped by Gregory. 
Again, the ball, I think, drifting away slightly onto the Australian side. The advantage not going to East Wales, so they get the put in. Edwards into space, meant for Shanklin. Fairfax. Russell Fairfax here having no chance so far to show his brilliant attacking flair, always under pressure from those lovely probing kicks. Just outside the East Wales 25. Now watch for the big shove here from the East Wales back. Eight men shoving there. The Australians held it pretty well. Hit well to Richardson. Richardson giving it to Cox, the flank forward. Cox onto Red Smith. They're only 15 yards short of the East Wales line. Fed out there from Graham. Hipwell. Penalty for offside at the mall situation. And a chance here for the Australians to cut the deficit. Jeff McLean with this kick that looks so very simple, but when you're seven points down and you desperately need to kick it, it becomes progressively more difficult. Jeff McLean then, who holds the record for an Australian in point scoring in New Zealand. 85 points on the tour of 1972. And this kick badly needed by the Wallabies. McLean, straight and true. And that cuts it to seven points to three in East Wales' favour. With about seven and a half minutes of the second half over. Gregory, Hipwell, Richardson, Jeff Shaw, Fairfax in the line. That's meant for McLean. McLean kicking on over the 25. That goes Keith James. That's McLean. It's Gerald Davis, and it's a penalty against McLean for playing a man who didn't have the ball. Excusable in a way because uh, the ball did bounce up, and I'm sure he thought James had it. Keith James with the penalty. Right at the front of the line-out for the East Wales pack is number one, Graham Price of Pontypool. Just 21 years old, but a member of that great Pontypool pack who uh, helped their team to the championship last season. Gregory again, palms, hip well to Richardson, to Jeff Shaw. They missed out Fairfax that time. This is the strange, the strange, up to the 25. Owen Stephen, Stephens chased there by Finlayson. Stevens tackled by John Williams, two yards out. Drive there by number three, Ron Graham. And it's Hipwell who scored. And no wonder Ron Graham there is pleased with his little scrum half. Number three, Ron Graham did the leading up. John Hipwell took the chance on that narrow side. And he tied the score at seven points all with about 18 minutes of the second half gone. into the last quarter of the match then 20 minutes of the second half gone seven points all John Hipwell up to John Williams Williams threw off Stevens my goodness you have to nail Williams to the floor John Williams, who... On halfway. Edwards, James, Finlayson, Gerald Davis coming in the centre. Oh, what a move! He Hughes, almost over the 25. Can he Hughes get to the ball first? Stevens and Hughes! Hughes has made it! Delighted. The Australians are annoyed. I think some of them thought that Keith Hughes hadn't actually grounded the ball, but the referee was right there. And so a try there by Keith Hughes, who's only one cap so far. Puts the East Wales side ahead by 11 points to seven. We are 22 minutes into the second half. 
And it's John Taylor with the conversion attempt. Taylor, no problems with that one. His second successful kick of the match. And East Wales go ahead by 13 points to seven with about 18 minutes of the match to go. On the Wallaby 25 still. Young using the tail, John Taylor, Terry Kopner going for the peel. It's Edwards eventually. Richardson, tackled by Kopner, still on the Wallaby 25. Hipwell, out to Jeff Shaw, to Fairfax, Owen Stevens. John Williams, good tackle by Stevens. Roger Lane on halfway. Switch coming now across from Edwards to Keith Hughes. Hughes tackled by Lestrange. This is good stuff. Jeff Shaw almost over the 25. Jeff McLean and Gerald Davies. The chance for McLean just a yard out, and that was Jeff Shaw eventually who got it. But it had gone forward. Again, referee Ken Burrell right on the spot. The Australians then, with the game fading away from them, down by seven points to 13, on the East Wales line. Almost one against the head for Carberry, who's uh, down by about three so far. <whistles> Penalty, perhaps for... Oh, no, it's against the Australians. I thought it might have been for delaying the Putin, but uh, probably striking a bit too quickly. Certainly, it's a great opportunity there wasted. James. Fair fact, beautifully taken, what wonderful judgment. Into the 25, Gary Fay. Graham, the prop. Well, you're not allowed to intentionally throw it into touch, but then it wasn't intentional. Ten yards inside the East Wales 25. Edwards. That was a good bit of scrummaging by the East Wales side. Gareth Edwards here not having to touch the ball because it was controlled in the scrummage and then they gave it to him just when he was ready. 13 to 7 they lead. Nine minutes of the game remaining. Good charge down by Roger Lane going through from the tail. Edwards to James. Finlayson. Finlayson, Edwards, Edwards and McLean, but it went into touch on the full. It must, however, have gone over the touch in goal flag because the referee has awarded the dropout. Fairfax drops out. Fay gets a hand to it. Hipwell to Richardson. Richardson to Fay. On the Australian 25. Jeff Shaw to Fairfax. Fairfax up to the East Wales 25. That's John Williams. And as always, Gerald Davis alongside him. Great retreat running by Davis. Here he is. Davis. Tackled there by number 11, Sullivan. They're inside the East Wales 25. John Taylor, number seven down there, feeling the thud of a rugby boot in his back, but uh, knowing that that's the kind of thing you have to expect if you drop on the wrong side, accidentally or otherwise. Australian hooker.
Hector did well to rescue that ball. He, he momentarily lost it, but got it back again. A bit of a scrap going on on this side between Ron Graham and Graham Price. There's a clean strike. Hipwell, Richardson, Jeff Shaw. Again, Fairfax in the line. Fairfax to Stevens. Stevens. Has he made it? It's a score. Well, the Australians, Chris Passing, certainly gave Owen Stevens just enough room. He had to dive very low to get it, but it just beat John Williams' tackle. And with six minutes of the match remaining, East Wales ahead by 13 points to 11 through that try by Owen Stevens, number 16. Two minutes of actual playing time to go. Two points in it, Russell Fairfax. Jeff Shaw. This is Finlayson to Gareth Edwards to Shanklin. Shanklin tackled by Stevens, throws him off. It's tackled by Fairfax. Here's the switch. Edwards. Finlayson left it to James. Keith Hughes. He's got Gerald Davis outside him. He's over the 25. Oh, what a pass! Gerald Davis. That sidestep has done it again. wonder the crowd have really risen to that lovely bit of twinkling footwork by Gerald Davis, made by the wonderful switch and the beautiful...